Today we're talking about elephant ear plants and in particular Colocasia and this one is Colocasia esculanta fontanesii, commonly called the black stemmed Colocasia. It's a wonderful plant, great foliage, really deep red to black stems. The foliage looks great right through the season although in cooler climates it's going to die back in winter. Maintenance is really simple, you just need to prune away any old dead foliage and in cooler climates as the plant dies back, prune it right back to the ground in winter. This is a plant that spreads by underground tubers so we really do suggest growing these plants in containers unless you have the space in the garden. Grow them indoors or grow them outdoors and we'll tell you how to do both. Indoors, find a position where they get bright indirect light not close to a window where they get direct sun because this can cause leaf burn and scorch. And not in a dark area either because in dark areas you can find that you get fungal diseases and also you won't get the colour in the leaves which is desirable. If you're growing them indoors we suggest that you use a specialist indoor plant fertiliser and use that as directed, usually as a liquid fertiliser once every three to four weeks from spring through to summer and then in autumn and winter just once or twice. Although this is a plant that likes moisture it doesn't like to sit in wet soggy soils especially indoors. So make sure that you have a well drained pot. We suggest that you use a nursery pot and sit it inside a decorative container. This way you can remove the nursery pot from the container when you water and make sure that there's no water left sitting in the pot after watering. As the plant increases in size you will need to pot it up and generally once every three years is enough. Use a good quality potting mix and remember the larger the size of the pot the bigger the plant will eventually get. If you are growing the plant indoors it's a great idea to give it a little bit of a holiday outdoors in dappled shade from spring to summer just every couple of weeks. And of course you can also grow this plant on a sheltered patio or balcony outdoors unless you're growing it in tropical to subtropical climates we are suggesting that you still grow this plant in a container and the reason for that is that you may need to overwinter it in a protected position. Again the larger the container the larger the plant will get but that doesn't mean that you start this plant off in a large container you need to increase the size gradually as the plant gets larger. A position in dappled shade is essential hot afternoon sun is going to cause leaf scorch. Outdoors you can fertilise the plant with an organic type fertiliser and it is a hungry plant so again from spring to summer a fair bit of fertiliser. Keep the plant moist at all times but again make sure that it's not sitting in wet soggy soil especially over winter. Maintenance is the same both indoors and outdoors. Prune away any dead stems and in winter as the plant starts to die back prune it right back to the ground. Watch out for pests and diseases like spider bites and that sort of thing and treat them as appropriate. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on a whole range of indoor and outdoor plants and indeed a whole range of gardening matters. And as always, good luck with your gardening.